Getting back to Penn State and the transfer portal, we touched on a few players that so far I've touched on it. I mean, Christian Driver, unfortunate because I would love to see him make plays on the field with his dad's lineage, you know, have his dad around. Uh, he's been around a little bit throughout his time, but, you know, a kid never really touched the field that much. So, you know, hopefully he can find somewhere and make a splash. Um, looking forward to him. But as far as Penn State looking for weapons in the portal, and we touched on it. A lot of kids get attention, but are they really getting offers from schools? And reportedly, at least Penn State has offered two receivers. There may be more. Um, as far as I know, there's the Jamari Macklin out of uh, – what school was that? I lost my notes. Uh, Jamari Macklin out of North Texas, you know, who was yep. garnering a lot of attention as soon as he threw his name in there. He's Jeremy Macklin's cousin. I, I was thinking so. I was trying to find yeah. out. I know Macklin yeah. had a little brother. Yeah. I think he's – graduated now so that's good lineage right there again i mean a thousand yard guy 11 touchdowns uh seems like a kind of i won't say he's though he doesn't look like a blazer but more of a shifty shiftier receiver guy but shows he can go up there go up top and get it that's one thing i'm looking for in our receiving room a little bit more size and physicality you know uh hopefully for this next season and they also offered the step offered the stanford receiver josh kelly who i think brings a little bit more of that uh, size and physicality. So I'm sure there's other names out there they pitched their hat to, yeah. but we'll we'll see. Well, I think obviously that's a, that's a need, right? And I think Penn State's in a great position, kind of what we talked about. Like they don't have this mass exodus; mm-hmm. they can still go out and recruit um, and and, and grassroot it, for yeah. lack of a better term, in terms of you know growing their own. Um, and these kids have a have a propensity to stay and buy into the system, but. I think when you're looking to flip blades right now, specifically with what we're doing, like I think we need a guy who can really be an immediate impact guy. And I, it, it's one of those things where I don't think you can really miss. Right. You know, I think I think Malik McLean, you know, we, we, we have some mailbag questions about him, but, you know, we, we talk about it. Um, that was the size. You know, his, the speed. Yeah, his size, his frame, you know, all that stuff. But fortunately, we got him, and he's got a couple more years, right? So as long as he sticks around, there's a potential for him to continue to develop and 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 – separate himself throughout spring ball and stuff like that. But I really do think if you're, if you're going out and you're Penn state and you're looking for a one year guy, you can't miss, yeah. you have to have the impact cat who can come in and separate and give you, give you some explosives that you didn't necessarily have in that position group last year. So um, I think there's a few other names. I believe there's a kid coming out of Vanderbilt. Yeah, um, that's three, 200 pounds, you know, a, a, a really, really, you know, good player, physical presence, um, Obviously, some ties with Coach Franklin down in Nashville prior to that may or may not have had, well, probably definitely didn't have any type of influence on recruiting him. But, um, you know, <laughs> yeah, we're, there's, we're a little old, bro. There. Yeah, a little old. I just <laughs> thought about that. Like, damn, bro. Yeah, he's been, he's been here but, um, years, bro. <laughs> yeah. Shoot, but, um, your college anniversary is coming up. Eight, nine. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, dude. <laughs> but, yeah. So, um, you know, there, there's some kids out there. And I think that that's, that's obviously a need. So um, that's what the transfer portal gives us, at least. So mm-hmm. 